the generic filter is one of the standard components of the Cuba platform. Filters provide a convenient way to select data from the database by one or multiple criteria. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create and use filters in Cuba applications. The filter panel is located on the top of a standard browser screen. By default, the panel contains several components the search button with a drop down list of saved filters, the link button for adding search conditions, the settings button, and the field limiting the number of records in the table. The panel enables data search in two models ad hoc filtering and using saved filters. In order to perform the ad hoc search, click Add Search Condition. Choose the search condition in the dialog window and click Select. The selected condition will be pinned on the top panel. Enter the required parameter, select the comparison operator and click Search. The table will display database records matching the specified criteria. Ad hoc search condition remains on the screen until it is closed. You can remove a condition by clicking the icon next to it. Additionally, you can reset all current conditions by selecting Reset filter in the drop-down list of the search button. The administrator can adjust the default number of records per page in the application settings. The user can specify the number of records per page in the fields or completely disable the limitation by leaving it empty. In the latter case, the table will display the maximum number of records allowed for loading by the administrator in the application settings. The ability of users to set the desired number of rows per page can be restricted by security settings. Ad hoc filters can be edited and saved for the further use. To edit a filter, click the Filter Settings button and click Edit. The Editor window enables advanced configuration of the filter. Let us set the name of the filter. All filters can be divided into two categories. Local filters are available only for the user who created them, while global are available for all users. In order to make a filter global, check the Available for all users checkbox. The ability to create global filters is controlled by security settings. You may want the filter to be selected automatically when a user opens an entity browser. To achieve this, set the default option. Now the filter will be automatically applied when a browser is opened. The search conditions are displayed in the tree. You can add them using the Add button, swap them or remove using the Remove button. If the required condition is not listed, you can create a custom one using JPQL query language. Click Create New at the end of the list to create a custom condition. The condition editor will be opened. Enter the name of the new condition. After that, enter the database query using join and where expressions and the proposed aliases. Then select the type of the parameter and click OK. You will return to the main screen of the filter editor. Conditions can be added to AND and OR groups. In order to do this, click Add AND or Add OR and drag the required condition to the added group. By default, all conditions are grouped using the AND logic. Search condition parameters can be configured in the right part of the screen. You must select an operator to be used in the condition. If needed, you can set the default parameter value or even make the condition hidden by checking the hidden box. In this case, the condition will still be applied using the default parameter, but will become invisible for the user. User-friendly caption for the condition can be set in the caption field. The width of the parameter input field can be selected in the width list. By default, conditions are placed in three columns in the filters panel. 
the field width equals to the number of columns occupied by the field 1, 2 or 3. In order to save the filter, click the Filter Settings button and press Save. If you need to set a new name for the filter, select Save As. After that, the filter can be used by selecting it in the drop-down list of the search button. Make default option enables setting the current filter default for this screen, similar to the default checkbox. Saved filters can be removed with the help of the Remove option. The filtered data in the table can be further reduced by applying new filters to it. In order to apply multiple filters consequently, select and apply one of them, click the Filter Settings button and select Pin Applied. The filter will be pinned at the top of the panel. After that, another filter can be applied to selected database records. These were the most typical filters use cases. Thank you for watching.